Hi everyone, let's learn more about multiplication. Today we are going to learn how to multiply a whole number by a one digit number, a whole number by tens, and a whole number by a two digit number. Let's start by multiplying a whole number by a one digit number. Let's multiply 326 by 6. We know that multiplication is repeated addition. So we have 326. We can multiply or repeat the set six times. This is how we write in algorithm. 326 times 6. Let's multiply by the 6 ones 6 times. So 6 ones multiplied by 6 would give us 36 ones. We regroup or rename the 36 ones to 3 tenths 6 ones. So 3 tenths, we will write down the 6 ones. Then we multiply the 2 tenths by 6. 2 tenths multiply 6 times will give us 12 tenths. 12 tenths plus the 3 tenths, it would be 15 tenths. So 15 tenths is 105 tenths. Now we will multiply the hundreds. 300 multiply 6 times will give us 18 hundreds. 18 hundreds plus 1 will be 19 hundreds. We rename the 19 hundreds to 1,000 nine hundreds. So we have nine hundreds and a thousand. So multiply 326 by 6. The answer is 1,956. Let's check if the answer is reasonable. 326, when we round to the nearest hundred, would be 300. So 300 times 6 is 1,800. 1,956 is close to 1,800. So we say that the answer is reasonable. Let's try by multiplying 2,196 2, by 3. We know that multiplication is repeated addition. We can write down the number 3 times. So let's start by multiplying the ones. Six ones times three is eighteen ones. We regroup or rename them, it will be one ten eight ones. Now we multiply nine tens by three, we would have twenty seven tens. Plus one ten would be twenty eight tens. So twenty eight tens is two hundred eight tens. Our 100 multiplied by 3 would be 300 plus 200 is 500. Now we multiply the 2000 3 times would be 6000. So 2196 multiplied by 3 is 6588. We know that 2196, when we round off, round to the nearest thousand is 2000. So 2000 times 3 is 6000. So 2688 is close to 6000. And we say that the answer is reasonable. Let's pause and you try these sums. Multiplying by tens. Multiply 34 by 30. So we have 34. We multiply by 3 first. We would have 102. And then when we multiply the 102 by 10, we know that 102 is 102. So we can take 100, multiply by 10, and 2, multiply by 10. 
So 102 multiplied by 10 is 100, and 100 multiplied by 10 plus 2 multiplied by 10. 100 multiplied by 10 will give us 1,000 and 2 multiplied by 10 will give us 20. So 102 times 10 will give us 1,020. Now you pause and try these sums. Let's multiply the number by a two-digit number. Sarah uses 11 buttons to sew a dress. How many buttons would she, she need to sew 24 such dresses? So we have 24 times 11. I, for 11, I can split them into 10 and 1. So I have 24 10 groups and 24 with one group. So I have 10 groups of 24 and one group of 24. So 24 times 11 is 24 times 10 group, which is 240. 24 times one group is 24. So 24 times 11 will be 220, 40 plus 24, which is 264. Alternatively, we can use the algorithm. Step 1, 24 times 1 group of 1. So 24 times 1 is 24. Step 2, 24 multiplied by 10. So 24 times 10 is 240. Step 3, we add them up. So 24 times 1 is 24. 24 times 10 is 240. When we add them up, it's 264. Let's try if our answer is reasonable. 24, when we round to the nearest 10, is 20. 11, when we round to the nearest 10, is 10. So 20 times 10 is 200. 264 is close to 200, so our answer is reasonable. Let's pause and try this. We have learned how to multiply a whole number by a one-digit number, a whole number by tens, and a whole number by a two-digit number. Goodbye.